Now, welcome learners. We want to look at the topic of uh, carbonyl compounds, subterrestrial manufacture of sodium carbonate. Now, sodium carbonate can be manufactured industrially by solvay process and extraction from toner. Now, reasons why, what are the uses of sodium carbonate? Sodium carbonate is used in manufacture of glass, it is used in paper industry, it is used in water treatment plants, it is used in domestic water softening, it is used in manufacture of sodium chemicals, e.g., sodium hydroxide. Now, we say that solve, uh, sodium carbon can be manufactured by solve process or extraction from toner. So, in our lesson today, we want to look at industrial manufacture of sodium carbonate by solve process. Why is solve process the most efficient industrial chemical process? Now, reasons the raw materials are cheap. The it has only one waste product. The pollution problem is considerably is reduced considerably by recycling carbon dioxide and ammonia gas. The thermal effects of water, the thermal effects on the water source near the plant is minimized by recycling. Now the raw materials for manufacture of sodium carbonate include limestone or coke brine that is concentrated sodium chloride water and ammonia now part of the process includes ammoniating tower carbonator also called sulfate tower filters kilin ammonia, ammonia generator roster and slaker now the reactions in the the reactions and process that occur in the survey process includes the first part where you call ammoniating tower Ammonia is mixed with brine to form ammoniaco brine, which is pumped into the carbonator. The process of car there is called ammoniation. Part number two, the kiln. Limestone, which is calcium carbonate, is fed into the kiln, where it is decomposed to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. The equation is calcium carbonate, solid, RO, calcium oxide solid plus CO2 gas. Now the calcium oxide formed is pumped the slaker while carbon dioxide is pumped the carbonator. The process that occur in the kiln is called thermal decomposition. Part number three, carbonator or solvator. The ammoniaco brine from the ammoniating tower trickles down the carbonator while the carbon dioxide from the kiln is pumped from the base. So the reaction that occur there, we have two reactions that occur simultaneously. The first reaction is ammonia gas plus CO2 gas plus water liquid gives you ammonium hydrogen carbonate. And then ammonium hydrogen carbonate reacts with sodium chloride which is brine to give you sodium hydrogen carbonate solids plus ammonium chloride aqueous now the general equation for the reaction of cars follows co2 carbon dioxide gas plus sodium chloride aqueous plus ammonia aqueous plus water liquid RO sodium hydrogen carbonate solids plus ammonium chloride aqueous now the carbonator has to be cooled regularly so as to reduce the amount of heat produced in it now sodium hydrogen carbonate is less soluble than ammonium chloride at low temperatures hence it crystallizes in the lower part of the carbonator. Now the solvay tower is usually made of what they call baffles. The role of the baffles is to make the liquid flow slowly as to increase surface area for the reaction. Now after the formation of sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride, the two substances are pumped to the filters where they are separated. They are separated to form sodium hydrogen carbonate residue and ammonium chloride filtrates. 
Now the process that occur in the carbonator is called carbonation. The process that occur in the filter is called filtration. Now sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is a residue, is pumped to the roster, while ammonium chloride is pumped to the ammonia generator. So the next part is called the slaker. Now the calcium oxide from the kiln is slaked and is mixed with water to form calcium hydroxide. The equation is calcium oxide solid plus water liquid arrow calcium hydroxide aqueous. Now the calcium hydroxide formed is pumped to the ammonia generator. The process of kind of slaker is called slaking. Now, the next part is called ammonia generator. The calcium hydroxide from the slaker is reacted with ammonium chloride from the filter to form calcium chloride, ammonia, and water. The equation is calcium hydroxide aqueous plus ammonium chloride aqueous gives you calcium chloride aqueous plus ammonia gas plus water liquid. To balance the equation, place two where there is ammonia chloride and two where there is ammonia gas. Now the calcium chloride is, is formed as a byproduct, so it is emitted outside. So that is usually commonly used as a drying agent. Ammonia is recycled to the ammoniating tower. The process of car in the ammonia generator is called ammonia regeneration. The last part is called the roster. Now, sodium hydrogen carbonate that was filtered out from the filter as a residue was pumped into the roster where it is decomposed by heat at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius to form sodium carbonates, carbon dioxide, and water. The question is sodium hydrogen carbonate, solid, arrow, sodium carbonate solid plus co2 gas plus water liquid to balance the question place two where there is sodium hydrogen carbonate now carbon dioxide formed in this reaction is recycled back to the carbonator at the solvay tower the process of car in the roster is roasting also called thermal decomposition and the diagram below shows industrial manufacture of sodium carbonate by solvay process. The parts as we mentioned earlier on are filters, carbonator, ammoniating tower, slaker, roster, ammonia generator, ammoniating tower. So this first part here is called ammoniating tower. This is called the solvay tower the carbonator. This one is called the ammonia generator. This one is called the filters. This is called the roster. This is called the filter. This is called the slaker. So the raw materials, you mentioned earlier on, limestone enters the kiln here, where it is decomposed to form calcium oxide, which is pumped as liquor, and carbon dioxide, which is pumped to the carbonate of the solvay tower. Now, in the liquor, water comes in to form the reacted with calcium oxide formed from, this, from the kiln, to form calcium hydroxide, which is pumped to the, to the ammonia generator here. Now, ammonia and brine enter this part, which is called ammoniating tower. They mix together to form ammoniac brine here, which is pumped to the solvay tower. Now, in the solvay tower, the reaction occur where it form sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride which is pumped to the filters here. In the filter, they occur separation. That is, uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate is solid, and ammonium chloride, which is filtered, separated, where the residue, um, sodium hydrogen carbonate, is pumped to the roster, and ammonium chloride is pumped to the ammonia generator. So in the roster, the sodium hydrogen carbonate is decomposed to form sodium, sodium carbonate, which is our main product, which is pumped out here, the carbon dioxide is recycled back to the 
solvator or the carbonator. And then the filtrate formed from the filter here is found to the ammonia denator, which reacts with calcium hydroxide from the slicker to form calcium chloride, which is a pi product, ammonia gas, which is recycled back to the ammoniating tower. So that is the industrial process. So in this industrial process, there are two substances that are recycled. That is ammonia gas and, and carbon dioxide. The byproduct is calcium chloride, which is used as a drying agent in the laboratory. Thank you, learners. The next lesson, we're going to look at uh, atomic structure and the table. Thank you.